And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here Sunday afternoon. Uh, as I have some time right now to give you my thoughts on how I'm going to prepare for the week to come. Following up on some of the altcoin, uh, I can see the camera is not ideally angled. Maybe that's better. Uh, I have some altcoins I wanted to follow up on. I'm going to start off with Unibot because I have it uh, right here. And what I am seeing is a bit of a falling channel and going to be stuck in there until uh, probably until it breaks it right to the upside of the downside. And this is on a 15 minute time frame as this one has been marching it onwards and upwards after a bit of a daily pullback. So hit the first target out of this breakout. Um, maybe I can get the, uh, we had the, uh, a bit of a W, not even a good W here, but uh, just deviation below the bottom side of the range. Uh, hit this trend line, this uh, long-term diagonal, broke it, kind of retested, and that was our first target hit. And so the question is, are we gonna go lower first or not? And actually based on what I'm seeing right here, kind of three drives of, um, or two drives at least, two drives of bearish divergence. So what is that? Price is making lower highs as the RSI is making lower highs no that, that that's actually um a false false flag there false flag so lower did i see it coming back from this pivot right here maybe that's where i saw it okay so one two three yeah lower highs and that should give you a shot down <clears throat> wow at least to the 21 the bottom side of this Little hammer and what's the saying? Five touches and then a breakout. So what you'd want to see, man, I'm really doing this off the cuff here. So uh, there's your first touch, second, third, fourth. Fifth, higher low. Some No, what you wanna see is a higher low like this. This is what I'm trying to say. For this to break out to the upside so something like that maybe we do come down one more time put in another drive of hidden bullish divergence as the rsi is getting kicked out of the bullish control zone and yeah as long as we're holding this trend line on the daily to the downside i would expect some downside pressure in the short term for mr unibot but our long longer term target for this one based off the weekly time frame is a bit higher targeting uh, the top side of the range. So a breakout of this massive descending triangle and um, looking for, you know, long-term, this one to continue the march onwards and upwards, but probably looks like a short-term pullback. Um, I guess we'll take a look at Link as this is when one of the darlings of the market here, uh, the... Uh, the backer of the real world assets, uh, the Link Marines Army, don't ask me exactly what they do, but um, if you look at the chart in the grand scheme of things, we we're just brazen upon the 236. So next target is gonna be about 22 bucks. Uh, this one's still looking strong at, well, you can see volatility is beginning to wane. So as it cur curled over the last two times, what happened to price? So. Things traded sideways and ultimately continued to the downside there. And then things traded uh, in the opposite direction here. So you got a mean reversion bounce uh, as volatility expanded while well, price went down. And then as volatility contracted, so when the moving averages goes down, you see a mean reversion. So that was the expansion. Here's the contraction and so that gives us a little key there. So this hasn't fully contracted yet. And uh, that says, well, you could get one more, one more pop, you know, to the upside. Now, momentum is about to cross down on the weekly time frame anywhere below 1580. So we're going to cross down today. 
right under the wire. Three hours and five minutes. The weekly close will come in for this one. And um, 580 is the line in the sand. So if this says cross down on the weekly time frame below 90, did we already get above 90? Technically, we did. So this is... You know, price could trend from here or it could really come down. <laughs> either one, either one. Um, as you can see, the last time we got in the critical zone here at 90, we did have a bit of a, you know, short-term top and then a parabolic move higher. So that's what some people say. Oh, it's oversold. It's oversold because this is stochastic is way up here. No, that actually means... Price is trending, likely going to get another move. And that was the bearish divergence that took it out on the weekly time frame. So um, I am expecting one more uh, overall drive higher for this one. I don't know if it pulls back first or not, but um, generally uh, the strong continue to be strong in this market. Uh, I guess I should touch on Bitcoin really quick as the weekly close is about to close a nice Healthy green candle, 39,593 at the moment, and uh, momentum is going to be above 90. So things are trending. I would expect another green candle in the following week for Bitcoin. I know it sounds boring. I just, oh yeah, more up and to the right, but uh, playing out from last week, let's see if I still have it drawn in there on the 15-minute time frame. What... Um, what did we talk about last week? The idea of uh, a bit of a trap move over the weekend. And then let's see if I can pull it up here really quick. Of course, I, I think I deleted it because there was too many lines on my screen, but I might be able to redraw it, recreate the beautiful chart that was... Um, no, there's no love for me today on... Uh, Trading view, trading view, trading view. Come on. Is that it? Nope. Last chance. Nope, I deleted it. Yep, there's the weekend boxes. So I guess we'll go through it again and really uh, talk about where Bitcoin is at and uh, what we talked about last week. I wish I had a perfect drawing, but of course I do don't. Did we have it drawn in at the Wix or um, right here? Let's see what it looks like on the 15 minute. So last weekend's trap. Oh, there it is. The drawing is playing out. Okay. This, this makes sense. That was last weekend's trap. So that's when the futures market closes from Friday to Sunday and Price action gets stuck in a bit of a trap. And what do we have? We, we talked about this. Uh, all right, let's get a big wide screen here. So here's the formation. Boom. W. Okay. Higher high. Higher low. Higher high. Higher low. Boom. Practice makes perfect. Boom. Boom. One. Two, three, one, two. It only lets me do one more. And then can I drag it here? No, I can't. So something like that, ladies and gentlemen. That's it, right? So at the beginning of the week, you start out and then you end up at the end of the week right where you ended but sometimes what I'm trying to say here is that this can get extended into it. Oh, I wish I could move this. Come on. Can I move it? Yes, I can. So there you go. If I could draw it a little better, that's how it would look. And that's in fact what we got. Yes. I should have just drew it out on the actual Wix. So why am I getting my thoughts out loud on paper? Well, here we go. Trap, W. Okay, one leg, pull back, two leg, consolidation, three legs. 
So is this where the trap's going to come in or are we going to get another continuation? And that is yet to be seen. Um, but essentially your third one here, boom, boom, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower high, low, lower high. Something like that is quite possibly in the makes here, but I am going to goose the odds in the favor of the bulls right now um, as well. Just looking on the 15 minute time frame, starting it out with the weekend trap, because now we're in another trap. So can we get another one of these on top? That's the question. We're right here right now, right? So if we do see a W coming out of um, Monday or even in the next hour or so, not quite so important to check in on Sundays. I completely like this theory because I've seen it play out so many times, which has happened. I've actually seen this happen so much times it gets very apparent on the 15 minute time frame. Needless to say, I'm, rambling at this point um but could we get another little push to the downside maybe a 15 minute um trap over the weekend trap where are the trap traders now some honestly i would draw the trap like this it's a bit different than some people else out there draw it but you can see, look at all the trapped people going long and short. We're about to uh, open the market here. And so, yeah, the question is, you know, W, <laughs> bang, or uh, M formation. So what is the opposite? So let's prepare for everything going into this week. And just looking at the liquidation levels on the heat map really quick. I know MSN somehow snagged this browser. Worst thing ever. Don't look at my password. And here we go. Liquidation heat map. I do enjoy taking a look at this. Does help out. Give a little buy. Sometimes it can fake you to the upside or the downside. So uh, you can see the heat map here and uh, the bright yellow is where the most liquidity is lying. So if I just zoom in here on the seven day liquidations, you can see a bunch of liquidations up here at 40,500. And so what, what would a trap look like to either side? Now I'm gonna pull out the one month liquidation levels just to see where that parabolic blow off top, maybe it's already been hit. Um, but on the monthly side, you can see some up there at 45,000. Let's go to uh, six months. Wow. What does the six month chart say? Wow. So all the liquidity is down at 24,000. Interesting. Not much above us here on the one year. Do we got anything there? Nope. So where does price ultimately go? Maybe that is the 30% drawdown that we've been talking about. Ultimately, our target on Bitcoin was somewhere at the 0.5 or the 618. And just always a good idea to remind ourselves where did the bull traps and the bear traps come in on a macro schedule right at the 0.5 or the 618. So you can see we're not to the not 0.5 yet. So 41,125 to uh, 47,215. That's on Bybit using candle bodies. Now, if you use the wicks for more volatility, you know, that not 0.5 is coming in at 42,582. Uh, but really, uh, the trap zones, right, are at the 618. And that's why. Hey, maybe we get a little bit more on this move with an ETF approval. There's going to be pullbacks along the way. And of course, you could always draw silly little lines like this, like a kindergartner and uh, try to uh, make rocket science out of it. But uh, let's see if I can do it for the opposite. So back onto the heat map, what I would do is look at this and say, okay, back on the 
we're looking at the seven day liquidations, right? So what would a tramp look like right now? As I've been kind of keeping an eye on this over the past few months, to me, um, you're going to get the M or the W coming in to tonight or or Monday morning around market session open U.S. time. So what's going to happen? Let's get back down to the 15 minute time frame, talking about the trap box and what is going to happen. Supposedly trap traders over the weekend. I don't know about that. I, I'd say the trap people, uh, the most trap people are down here, right? Down at 38,617. Definitely some trapped uh, long people right there, but it looks like they're going to let get them let free, let those bulls free if price action continues onwards and upwards, which has been our general bias since, you know, way back here at 37,9. And all throughout this region, we said, look, you know, each weekend, the, the trap box, we continue to close the following week higher. And that is the pattern I wanted to bring up. Um, because I think as long as Bitcoin is doing that, we're going to just keep March stair stepping it up, as they say, and just slightly higher highs, grinding it up, grinding it up. Anyways, uh, back on to an M formation. So what is that? On the 15 minute time frame, you're going to see something like this. So it straight out the weeds and then you get an M boom, trap everybody right here. And this is actually supposed to be a lower high. So I'll redraw that. Then they go south, boom, lower high, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. And then the reversal sometime in the middle of the week. Thursday or Friday, gosh, I can't draw. And then we're back into the weekend, the following week. So let me know in the comments below, do you think we're gonna get an M formation or a W formation? Sorry, it took me a million times to draw it. Uh, last week we went with the good old classic that there's your trap move. Give everybody trapped to the upside. And that's what it would look like to me. All right, back to the heat map. So what happens is, oh, boom, they grab that liquidity above at 40,150 and then send it to the downside and grab all that liquidity that was to the downside. Then run it right back up to the upside. Remember, Bitcoin does not move up in a straight line. And I do like this actually for a bit of a fake out idea. Um, so, you know, closing below here somewhere below this tr main trend line that's been holding on the four hour time frame. Uh, get everybody bearish, scared again. And, uh, and then reverse it right on them with a little trap move. A little bit of a trap move. But overall, um, I'm actually thinking we get the opposite, which is. So this is the and if or situation, right? The and if or situation. So if we're trapping the people to the bottom, we start with a W. Boom, higher high, higher low, higher high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. And we're right back to the weekend. So where does that take us up to about 42,800, which would be kind of my bias for next week. Make sure you make a comment below. Let me know what you think is going to happen. Let me know if you got any altcoins you want me to check out. I'm happy to do that for you. I do think the ones I'd be keeping an eye on, um, one, this one just came to my attention, TIA. I mean, a little bit late to the party for sure, but Looks up and to the right, uh, TIA. Again, not financial advice, not a financial advisor, just giving you this comedy for your own personal pleasure. Uh, this one here, we talked about for some time, Neutron, which 
did get the breakout. I wish I had the older chart. So we got three charts, by the way, here's my three altcoin gems for the week here for the month of December. Just kidding here. Um, I'm gonna do another video about that, but these are three I got my eye on right now. Um, N T R N. Make sure you throw a like button if you a like button. Throw a like button down if uh, you're enjoying some of the content and you found some value in getting some of these gems early. Um, the oldest chart is on finance. No. Let's see. Neutron is only available on select. No, that's not it. N E U T R. KuCoin. There we go. KuCoin had it first. Nope. Nope. I am really failing you now. Neutron. Unless I'm missing something. KuCoin Mexi. Let's see. Was it the good old Mexi? By the way, link in the description below if you want to get. Not the oldest chart on Neutron. Coin X Pith, dude. I'm I'm done. I know I'm right here. Coin X can't be that. Definitely not. How do I know I'm right? Coin Market Cap. And what is Neutron, anyways? What the what is Neutron? Has something to do with the cosmos system and if everybody goes to this neutron technology for, well it should do pretty well there we go neutron boom okay i was wrong making new all-time highs as we speak and i guess we started talking about it back here yeah at about 40 cents, <clears throat> maybe even back here. I think, no, I think I, I started to, anyways, I think we got this one very early in the game and um, it's really starting to show its colors, but let's see where a parabolic blow off top would get you and you're finally getting there. So comparing that to Tau, which is ultimately what I'm saying that that, uh, my target on that one is uh, so neutron just hit is I think I'm going to let this go. I think I'm going to let mine go. Parabolic blow off target hit. Okay. I'm going to get off here soon. Take care of that. Um, the other one is going to be AXL. XLR bridging fighting against the war of power. Mr. Chainlink, which, dude, I am a mess today. AXL. Oh, let's look at Rollbit really quick. Is it going to bounce it off the 618? I think this one is primo buying opportunity right now. Rollbit. Um, Casper, another one keep your eye on. Massive ascending triangle. Everything else is breaking out to the upside. What do you think this one's going to do? And where is the target on this one? It's going to be much, much higher than we're at right now. Uh, if we start closing above that pivot, um, that's what this one does. It coils up and then it it melts up, as you can see. Um, the other one, I super the gaming one. That one's pumping. Um, don't make me type it in, sir. A Vax, how's AVAX doing? <clears throat> Looks weaker than the others. Dot, same thing, looking weak. Uh, AXL, I mean, Dot's actually looking better than most and probably going to lift off at some point along with CRV, but these things are just taking a little bit too long, if you ask me, compared to what the rest of the market is doing. And they do look like they're going to have short term pullbacks. How's that beam? Oh, that one really ended up crushing it. Jeez. Beam. Get you some Jim Beam. No, I I um I forgot exactly 
what this one does, but I'm going to go back to that one. Um, I think it has to do with something I want to get into. Uh, just kidding. Um, next one up is AXL. Or no, Tau. So that was the other one. <clears throat> Similar to AXL, we're looking for this target to get hit. And similar to Neutron. But here's what I don't like and what I just saw is that on the first pass of the 3618, um, Neutron had a big pullback. Is that going to happen for this one? I don't know. But if you compare it to good old Neutron, and by the way, that's where we're getting that target for this one, which I think there's a bit of a short-term pullback in play, actually, because this one is still very new. I mean, I give it the benefit of the doubt, actually, with some continuation, but there is a short-term pullback on the shorter-term time frames brewing with some bearish divergence and... Wouldn't mind seeing this one come down a little bit more for a fresh buy back even down at the 236 would be nice and then see this one continue later in the year. That's it out of me today, guys. Here's my Sunday wrap up, what I'm looking at going into next week. Uh, mainly Bitcoin continuation alongside Ethereum continuing. <laughs> so the question is where, where to take profits and... Um, where's the short term, you know, pull around zone? Are we going to get the 30% dump before the halving, after the halving? I'll be letting you know that information this week. Make sure you like and subscribe and follow along, comment, ask a question. Um, let's see, what else did I want to bring up? Rune... Rune to the moon. This one has just gone upwards and onwards. And then Solana. How's that Soul BTC chart looking? Not as beefy as I would like in the short term. Um, so many coins, so many choices out there. But I did want to check out Soul really quick. Still pulling back on the short term. Look at that. That hourly flipped around. No. The hourly flipped around one more time. It's flipping around one more time. Look at that. Bounced off the green 55. Rolling over one more time. Anyways, I think continuation for this one going into next week. Probably going to revisit the highs. Probably going to revisit some of these lows down here. Somewhere around that purple 200, it will revisit. So if you didn't get your buy-in, you know, don't FOMO in on this one. Plenty of time, plenty of time for Solana and the narrative to continue to build. All right, that's it out of me today, guys. And I hope you have a blessed one. Take care.